Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the 2020 Mini Cooper. We're adding every option available by the manufacturer to find out if it's worth it. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, like, or commit all the way and subscribe. The Mini Cooper was introduced in 1969 and went all the way to 2000. The newer generation, uh, which was taken over by B BMW, started in 2001. In 1995, the Mini Cooper was awarded Car of the Century by Auto Car Magazine. I'll be using a random zip code for the build. Please feel free to drop yours in the comment section for my next video. Alright, let's build it. So Mini Cooper offers uh, several different variations. Um, I'm looking at the John Cooper Works line, which is a bit more... Um, spry, I guess, a, a little bit more fun to drive. I guess let's do the the hardtop two door, which is essentially what a a Mini Cooper would would mean for me. I mean, when you get into um, when you get into uh, four door and Countryman, it, that just doesn't make sense. So I think for this one, we'll, we'll do a two door. Um, they have a whole bunch of different colors here. Um, so, I mean, Mini Cooper to me is, um, I think it's a, a great car to own if maybe you live in the city or um, there's not enough room. I can understand uh, the, the purpose behind a Mini Cooper or why somebody would want to have a Mini Cooper. Um, Especially if you live somewhere where the streets are tight, parking is an issue, um, you're trying to get around, or maybe you're, you you're, you want to park your vehicle in, in a tight parking garage. Um, to me, that's where Mini Cooper makes sense. I feel that in most people on the road, uh, especially in the U.S., have SUVs. So um, I, I can understand also why Mini Cooper kind of branched out and moved away from just building these little two-door uh, cars that you, I mean, essentially you want to zip around town in, but I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, overall, the heritage is there. People know what Mini Cooper is. Um, I mean, you would buy it, I mean, because it's, it's small, maybe um, you like it because it looks great. Uh, it's good gas mileage, and you can kind of zip around town a bit. Oh, cool. This has a illuminated piano black surface, which you can kind of see here. That That's kind of nice. Um, but there's also the flip side to Mini, which is the issue with maintenance. Um, I've heard that. So I've never owned a Mini. I'm not sure what ownership is like. Um but I have heard about some of the maintenance issues and, and some of the things that um, uh, some people complain about. So I guess my assumption is if you have a Mini, it's awesome because, you know, you can get the maintenance, which takes care of a lot of which takes care of a lot of things. However, once that warranty runs out, then um, maybe you consider uh, something different. Oh, this has a six six-speed manual which is pretty nice so that's pretty cool this this makes you feel like you're actually doing something you're, you're actually engaged with the car and there's also uh, oh, there's also drive assistance which is nice okay they have uh, some audio alarms for five hundred dollars okay but, you know, I think for a lot of people that own minis, um, maybe you find them cute. Maybe you live somewhere where the streets are a bit narrow and you kind of just want to zip around town. Um, again, there's the maintenance issue. This is kind of where we are here. And they have a, a four-year upgrade for 2200 which it's not too bad. Um, I mean, being that uh, you, you do hear some of the stories uh, of ownership, I think as far as just the overall driving experience, because it's such a smaller car, it seems like it would be something that would be fun to drive. You could 
zip around town. It's pretty zippy. And then with the uh, John Cooper's works, when they add some additional horsepower, it makes it a little bit more fun and peppy. Um, I don't see why... Um, oh, let's do Black Stripes instead. I don't see why um, you would not buy a Mini Cooper. It, it seems like um, this would be a, a pretty fun car to drive. Um, most people are familiar with the brand and the heritage, and um, that that's pretty nice. Um, I just think overall this is something where if you're if you're in the city and um, you just want to kind of zip around town or you you um, Okay, we're going to add this if something happened here. You want to zip around town, then yeah, this makes a lot of sense. So we started with a base price of around $22,000, and the total cost to add every option available came out to around fifty-one, dollars which is a difference of $29,000. Is it worth it? You be the judge. Please add a comment, LSS to the channel, and thank you.